Hey guys, Kenny Dennis here. Um, and for today, what I wanted to talk about is I'm getting a lot of questions about what type of customers should I market my tax or accounting firm to? When you're first starting your tax or accounting business, what you're gonna wanna do is you're really not in a position where you're able to pick and choose clients, right? You're in a position where you have to start making money. You have to obviously start generating revenue. You have bills to pay, expenses to pay, especially if you're on your own, doing your own thing. So when it comes to that portion of the business, that's when you're gonna take on anything and everything. Then you transition to a new level in your business. And that's what I kind of want to get into today is speaking about who are these clients we want to go after that are willing to pay us anywhere between five to 10 to $15,000 for an actual tax plan. Okay. So that's what we're going to be discussing today. So the number one thing that you have to look at, and I always talk about this and write this down is pain threshold. When you're looking at clients that you wanna sell tax planning to, it's not you wanna sell tax planning to anybody and everybody, right? The reason why we're able to charge so much when it comes to tax planning is because there's such a high pain threshold. When I say a high pain threshold, what that means is think about a neurosurgeon, right? Or think about a doctor, or even think about a lawyer. Why are they compensated so much? Really think about that. The reason they are is because the problems they solve are extremely big. When it comes to a doctor, the doctor is in charge of your health, life or death. There's no solution. There's no amount of money we would want to pay to ensure that we don't pass away or we don't die from a certain disease or anything like that, right? the pain threshold is extremely high. So when pain is extremely high, money follows that. So the more pain there is with a certain product or service, the more money customers are willing to pay. Same thing for a lawyer, right? Let's say for instance, you're Johnny Cochran, right? Johnny Cochran has been known to get so many people out of jail in different situations and all types of things, right? Why was Johnny Cochran able to get compensated so much for what he does? The reason being is because whoever that person was, that customer, that customer was willing to pay anything to ensure that he didn't go to jail for 20, 30, 40 years because that's literally his life. It's done. It's kapoof, capiche, right? Everything's done. So when you think about tax planning, you think about what type of customers you need to go after or who you should really start to to turn your marketing to is who are the customers that have the highest pain threshold second you need to deal with customers that deal with high transaction values for so for instance what's an easy one that i can easily bring up a real estate investor right a real estate investor is a person who's basically acquiring multi-million dollar real estate uh, multi-million dollar real estate. They're doing heavy, heavy and large transactions. And obviously there's a lot of taxes associated with that, right? Correct. So when you're dealing with a situation like that, those will be customers that are very ideal for tax planning. There's a high pain threshold because if they're dealing with multi-million dollar properties, there's a pain of paying the IRS, a six figure tax bill, Correct. There's a pain of not keeping that money in their pocket and be able to reinvest that money into real estate. There's a pain threshold of having somebody else essentially, you know, having that money basically gone where they're going to have to write that check. There's a lot of pain associated with that. So when you're coming to a person with a tax plan and you're like, hey, you know, Joe Smo, I could easily save you around $100,000 in taxes. Why do you think it's so easy for that person to say, oh, well, yeah, I'll pay you $15,000 or 20 grand or whatever the case may be. It's because the pain threshold is so high. So when you're thinking about going after certain clients or going after certain people, really think about who are clients that have high pain thresholds. That is very, very important. Who are clients who are very affluent 
that are dealing with large transactions that are making a lot of money, who could I go after? The third thing, when you're going after a certain type of client, the reason why that's so great and that's so important is for the simple fact of, of the matter is you can speak their lingo, you can speak the jargon, the talk. Think about if you ever had, you know, some of your best friends, right? You, you have some of your best friends that you know when you guys all hang out, you guys kind of have your own lingo, your own jargon, your own um, inside jokes, right? Then you meet a, a girl or you meet a guy, whatever the case may be, and you get introduced to their friend group, right? You're trying to figure out how do they how do they talk, how do they move, how do they interact with each other. You're trying to assimilate, right? You're trying to assimilate. When you're able to assimilate with people, you're able to build a deeper rapport with people. People trust you more, okay? So when you decide to pick a niche like real estate investors, one of the terms real estate investors utilize is cap rate. What a cap rate essentially means is how profitable is a property going to be, right? How much is the return on investment they're gonna get? So when you're speaking to a real estate investor, when you're speaking in terms of, hey, I could develop a tax plan and a strategy that would basically increase your cap rate, that's music to a real estate investor's ears because now you're going after a person who has a high pain threshold, you understand exactly their lingo, how they talk, and you're solving a massive issue. When you're able to master those things, that's when you're able to scale to six, seven, even eight figures as a tax and accounting firm. Because now you've had, you have the right type of client, you know exactly the type of lingo, how to speak to them, what they're about, the magazines they read, you've, you've, you've delved into their lifestyle and what they're about. And now you're able to serve them at the highest level. Then it comes to the part of, why do they want to decide to work with me instead of anybody else? Remember my philosophy and everything we've been talking about on all of these videos. When you move out of tax preparation, a commodity service where you're competing with TurboTax, QuickBooks, where you're competing on price, the same thing if you were to go to a grocery store and you're buying, you know, apples and, and oranges. You're buying good apples and oranges, but at the end of the day, you're looking at the price. It's a commodity. It's, it's readily available. So when things are readily available, you make decisions based on price. When you're a tax strategist and you work with individuals to help them lower their tax bill, then you're a specialized tax strategist because you're going after real estate investors. That, that consumer will not compare you to other people. He won't be, well, I have a CPA. He's gonna be like, well, she's my CPA knows nothing about this. I have absolutely, I've got to work with you. You're the person I want to work with. So that objection starts to leave. You see what I'm saying? And they're not going to ask you about the price because you've done your homework and you know exactly who you're going after, why you're going after these people. And that's exactly how it's going. So this was some food for thought. This was something that I was thinking about. I'm getting a lot of questions about that. And now you kind of have an understanding of who you want to go after and how you need to go after them, okay? Again, make sure you guys like and subscribe and even comment. Tell me some questions that you guys might have. I love to hear, you know, different type of video topics and I'll literally go through the comments and create some videos. So literally comment what you guys wanna hear, like and subscribe to the video as well. Again, guys, that makes it easier on us. It gets more people to see the videos. It inspires us to make more videos and I can deliver better content for you guys. So please make sure you guys like and subscribe. Again, I'm Kenneth Dennis. Um, please click on the links below. We also do have a free training where I literally show you guys how to do this. It's about a two hour, two and a half hour training where I go just step by step by step on exactly how to do that. So click the link below, go into the training, watch it, and um, tell me what you guys think, okay? Take care.